we're out here trying to give the best ride we can possibly give for the motorists. So we want everything to be as smooth as we can, getting the best density we can. We're doing a mill and overlay maintenance guardrail, uh, ADA miscellaneous concrete drainage work, both directions of northbound and southbound of 77. Our roads, because of the freeze thaw, you got that joint and the salt that we use on the roads, that joint is always the first thing that breaks apart. I don't have joints right now. Three echelon paving in this section of road here, we're gonna eliminate at least 25,000 feet of paving joint, which should really, really help the longevity of the road. So, I mean, if we get 15 years out of it, I think that'll be a good thing. Well, with a job like this, doing a uh, three paver echelon really helps with the warm seams. I've actually noticed a bigger longevity in the road. Our resident engineer said, Corey, I want you to do this project. I started looking at it and I went back to him and that's when I told him, I said, I think we can do three wide. We sat down, we looked at it, I talked to a couple of contractors as to what is going to be the problem with three wide. Their main problems were the plant can't keep up and trucking is going to be an issue. Neither one of them have turned into be an issue on this project right now. Three pavers wide is the first time that we have had it specced in the contract for an echelon pave. We originally, the contract stated that we had four weekends to each direction to shut down all ramps and mainline to get our completion of our milling and paving done. The Mall of America did not want their ramps closed for the public to get into their mall. What the mall had asked us to do when we were going northbound was to at least let the traffic out to northbound. We have enough detours and enough major roads in the area that we can detour. A much safer project and it's a better quality project if we don't have the traffic on it while we're, while we're doing the work. There would be no way we'd be able to do three echelon with traffic. They're, they're, it's just impossible. This road is ending up to be one solid mass of pavement without a place for it to separate, without a place for it to break apart. The ride is so much nicer with all of the pavers going at the same time and all the rollers at the same time. To do three pavers with the three shuttle buggies in front of it, you don't see that very often and it's it's really fun to watch, you know, it's, and it makes a better road. You got all your seams are nice and hot, so you eliminate your cold joints down the centers and it'll give you a lot better product in the end. I don't even have words to describe how good I feel about what it looks like and how it rides. The thermal mapping is set up on the paver. They have actually a laser beam on the top that shoots down, checks, checks the mat's temperature, and that's displayed right on the paver. You can see how hot the mix is coming in. Experiences in the temperature of the mix will uh, contact the plant and ask them to heat up the mix or you know, watch the load, how they're loading the trucks. The intelligent compaction we've been using for about five years now. The advantage is overall a smoother job for the rollers. Uh, keeps track of their patterns. That way they're not looking at a street sign or something for their stopping point. This gives them a real-time, you know, painted picture of their coverage. Thermal and the intelligent compaction helps us greatly in the field. Done through our QC department and they're able to give us feedback on the spot. They know exactly where we're at. The intelligent compaction helps us greatly to know how we're doing as we're going, setting the roll patterns so that we're not over compacting, not under compacting. I see technology helping this company greatly. We do like the CAD equipment. We have good luck with it. There is nothing better than to have the extra technology to tell us what we can do to make things better.